My gorgeous welcome to High Vibe Honey. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but it just feels good for the week of the 22nd of July, 2019. I'm your host, Gala Darling, and I hope that you heeded my advice last week about chilling the fuck out and enjoying your life, because if you did, I know that you're in a completely different emotional place this week, and these cards are so ready for you to put the hammer down and like make some amazing shit happen, which is gonna be beautiful. And this week's tapping is all about believing in yourself and your ability to get projects done, which is exactly why last week we took a rest and we enjoyed our lives. So I really, really hope that you made that happen for yourself. So our first card of the week is the Queen of Wands. And we have queens come up a lot for us when we're doing these cards. And the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Action. And the Queen of Wands is awesome. She knows what she wants and she really goes for it. She is completely unapologetic about her desires. She's very energetic and her mere presence inspires other people to go for things in their lives too. And this is a really great symbol for us to think of as we're going forward into this week and we're creating all these new things and doing great stuff. You know, we want to think about not just what we're creating in our own lives and how that impacts us in this tiny little circle but we also want to think about how our behavior and the things we create and the way we behave in the world impacts everybody else too as we don't live in a vacuum we don't live in a bubble there are always people watching you to see what you're doing and that might sound like some like creepy spy shit but it's not about that it's really about you know, who are you a role model for? You may think that you're not a role model for anyone, but I can tell you categorically that that is not the case. We are all role models for someone, whether it's your daughter or your niece or your sister or even your mother, there is someone that looks up to you and is taking cues from you. So it's so important that when we're creating things in our lives or when we're going about our lives, we're not just thinking about like, oh, this is good for me right now. We wanna think like, what message is this giving other people that are watching me or other people that I care about? Is it telling them that like, it's okay not to have boundaries or that we're often disappointed by other people? Like what messages are we telling everybody else? Queen of Wands is like, fuck that shit. I know what I want, I'm going for it, and I'm fiery and I'm determined and I won't let anyone get in my way. And that's a really beautiful way to kick off this week. The Queen of Wands is also the queen of enthusiasm. She is so driven by what she's doing. And one of the reasons why she's so driven by what she's doing is because she really loves it. Like she sees the value in it and she enjoys doing it. And that gives her so much drive and it makes things so much easier. So if this card is coming up and you're like, well, I'm not very enthusiastic about what I'm doing. What I want you to ask yourself this week is how can you be more enthusiastic about what you're doing? It may be that you're not in the exact role or position that you want to be in just yet, but I want you to ask yourself, where can I put my attention so that I feel good about this on an everyday basis? What do I need to focus on rather than thinking about like, well, this isn't how I wanted and focusing on scarcity. I want you to really move into gratitude and be grateful for the steps you've taken so far, the position you've progressed yourself into, the great people you work with, the fun things you get to work on, whatever it is. I want you to really think about that this week because when we're grateful, everything gets better and we move more quickly up the chain to wherever we want to be. But if you have like a bad attitude and you're complaining and you're not loving it, why would you get promoted? Why would things come easily to you? They just wouldn't. So we really want to focus on where we can appreciate what we already have this week. And the Queen of Swords is also about having a real solid sense of self, knowing who we are, and also radical self-love. Queen of Wands is like the queen of radical self-love. She looks after herself and she looks after the people around her by extension. So she's a bad bitch. I'm really happy that she came up for us this week and she's gonna help you really propel through this week and feel powerful. Our second card this week is the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands sometimes can be read in a negative fashion, but obviously I'm not going to do that because it's just not my style. So the Five of Wands, in my interpretation, is about working on something where everyone's got an opinion. 
everyone thinks you should do it this way, or no, you should do it that way, or maybe we should call this guy, or I don't like the way you're doing that, let's do something else. So we can really let other people's opinions derail us and throw us off and put us in a shitty mood and come home pissed off and take it out on everybody else. But there is so much strength in bringing together other people's brains. Like they always say two brains are better than one and five brains are way better than two. So what I wanna encourage you to do this week is to embrace that and do some group brainstorming or masterminding on how you guys can bring this project to fruition and make it really powerful and really good. There's so much strength in diversity of opinion and diversity of experience. Like the person that you're sitting next to, you may not feel like you have anything in common with them, but they could add something so amazing to the project that you're working on if you only take a moment to put your ego aside and listen to them. So this week, no matter what you're doing, and like obviously the Queen of Wands says like, I know what I want, I'm going for it, and I'm focused and determined. The Five of Wands is telling us like just don't think that you have all of the answers. Be open to other people's opinions, be open to brainstorming and collaborating. And I think that when you do that, whatever you're working on will be much stronger than it would be if it was just you being a little tyrant and telling everyone how it should be done. Now our final card is the Hierophant in the reversed position, which I really like because the Hierophant generally by itself in the upright is about towing the line and convention and all that other shit that I'm not into. So the Hierophant in the reverse position is about rebellion and saying fuck the status quo and doing things really differently. So in conjunction with the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands, what this card says to me is that you're creating something really groundbreaking here. You're making something or working on something that's important and it can change the way people think about a certain thing or a certain situation and that what you're doing is really important. So. I want you to remember to maintain your vision this week. Like the Queen of Wands basically guarantees that you have that on lock. But the Hierophant in the reverse is just like, keep your vision, but also know that what you're doing is really important. Like this shit matters. And I know that sometimes we get bogged down in details or working with other people is exhausting or whatever the fuck is going on. We have food poisoning, who knows? So there could be anything going on. But this card just reminds us that what we're working on is important. And that also, if you wanna change things in the world, you do have to do things differently. You do have to question the systems and the beliefs and the ways that people interact with one another. There's no reason why you can't be really generous and have a really beautiful working relationship with all of your employees or your peers, for example. Why not try that? Why not do things a different way? Especially if you're entrepreneurial, and I know that so many of you watching run your own businesses or have a side hustle or you want to be your own boss, you get to create the business that you want. And I really think of having your own business as creating your own utopia. You really do get to do things however you want to do them. So why would you do everything the way that everyone else fucking does it if you don't like that or it doesn't make sense to you? The Hierophant Reverse encourages us to ask the questions of like, yeah, but why? I used to always ask, yeah, but why in school? And I would always get in trouble. My teachers fucking hated that question. And the reason they hated that question is because there's usually not a good answer. The answer is usually, well, this is just how things are done. That's a fucking bullshit reason. So that question has really led me to some amazing discoveries, some really good ways of doing things. There's a million people doing kind of similar sort of work to what I do, but I don't want to do it the way they do it. And that's why my shit is fun. That's why I really enjoy what I'm doing. Don't let other people's rules or systems get you bogged down. Just do things the way that you want to do them and keep asking why, especially this week. So let's do this tapping. Get really hydrated if you're not already. We're gonna start on the top of the head. And this tapping is just gonna help you feel that sense of security in yourself, believing in yourself, and really remembering that what you're doing is important. Sometimes we lose track of that and it makes it really hard to get things done. So this week we're gonna get really focused on that so we have the momentum and the encouragement to push through. Sometimes my projects feel overwhelming. It seems like there are so many steps, so many details, so many potential things to go wrong. 
And especially when I'm in charge of things, there's a lot of things that could get fucked up. Especially when I know that I can't have eyes everywhere. But this week, I am not going to be derailed by any of that stuff. This week, I am going to intensify my belief in myself. Maybe I haven't always believed in myself in the past. In fact, maybe I haven't always done my best work in the past. Maybe in the past I've slacked off a little bit or lost sight of the details or kind of let myself down. It's such a shitty feeling when you know you didn't do your best. And you can kind of skate through school like that. But when it comes to work or your career, you always want to feel like you did your best work. So this week, I'm going to remind myself that what I'm doing is important. That what I'm doing will help other people and that I'm really capable. Much more capable than I think I am. In fact, if I expanded my vision of how capable I am, imagine what else I could get done. If I believed that I could take on any challenge and kill that challenge. Imagine how much bigger and better my projects would be. Imagine how much more I could get done in a short span of time. So this week I'm really going to believe in myself. Even though I haven't always done that in the past, this week I'm going to stay really focused. I'm going to remember that what I do is important. And I'm going to put my best efforts into everything I do. And so it is. Okay, deep breath in, hold it at the top, and let it go. So for this week's homework, I would love for you to leave a comment below and tell us who it is that you are role modeling to. Who is it that's looking up to you? Is it a child, another family member, somebody you work with, a friend, a neighbor, anyone? We would love to hear who it is that you are thinking about as you go about your life and you create things and you fuck with the status quo and you do all those great things we we're talking about this week. We would love to hear who you know is looking up to you and how you hope to positively impact their lives. What do you want to show them you're capable of? What do you want to show them the world can do? This is a really good opportunity to get clear about where you want to put your energy this week and it'll really just give you a little focus point to make things easy as you focus and you create great things in the world. So thanks for joining me. I'll be back with you next week. You're amazing and I love you very much.